Now on Live at 4, a local school district is taking action after two students committed suicide just this year. Now the district has a new plan to educate students, staff, and the community about depression warning signs. And as Bridget Shanahan reports, it's a mental health problem that is growing across the country. From the outside, you can't tell there are fewer students at Brookfield East and Brookfield Central, but they are two seniors short. One of the things that we've experienced um, this semester um, in this system is, is loss. They are the first students to kill themselves in that district in just about five years. The last student suicide was in 2011. We've had a very um, large community response about really wanting to learn more about what is happening with our youth. It's been, been sad hearing that kind of stuff happens right here. And if you're thinking things are different where you live, you're wrong. Nationally, 20% of 13 to 18 year olds experience severe mental disorders. Here in Wisconsin, according to the most recent study from 2013, suicide is the second leading cause of death for young people. Wisconsin's youth suicide rate has been higher than the national rate for 29 of the last 32 years. We realize that this isn't um, a problem that school systems are gonna solve themselves. It really takes an all hands on deck approach. So Elmbrook is doing something different to help spot anxiety and depression, more training for staff members and eventually students, but they'll also be focusing on the community, educating parents. Any little thing will help, you know, any, any way to get involved in your kids' lives more and if they talk more about it at school or whatever they need to do to to make them understand what, what, what that means. Some of the new training for staff members has already started. School officials are still trying, though, to figure out the best way to get students involved and plan to send out information to community members in the next couple of weeks about training for them. Bridget Chanahan, today's TMJ4. And we have more information on youth suicide. Just go to our website at TMJ4.com.